The integrated definition language zero, or IDEF zero diagram, presents an integrated picture of the inputs, control, outputs, and mechanisms, ICOM, for a function's decomposition. Part of the behavioral representation set, it displays a great deal of context information on the interrelationships of the decomposition without displaying the actual logic or structure of the decomposition. It is typically used less than other behavioral representations, but is still a valuable part of an integrated representation set. The IDEF0 diagram is available for entities in the function class, as well as any other subclasses of processing unit. The IDEF0 A-0 diagram presents a context level view of the inputs, control, outputs, and mechanisms for a specific function in your logical model. On the IDEF0 diagram, the children are shown as nodes along the main diagonal. The default order of functions is automatically determined by Genesis through the underlying structure of the parent function as shown graphically in an activity diagram or EFFBD. The structure is traversed either left to right or top to bottom with parallel and select constructs traversed one branch at a time, starting with the topmost or leftmost branch. The node order can be changed by selecting a node and using the change node position command from the ribbon or the context menu. Inputs enter the node on the left. These can either come from the edge of the diagram, external inputs, or from another function on the diagram. Controls or triggering data enter the node on the top. These can come from the edge of the diagram, external triggers, or from another function on the diagram. Outputs exit the node on the right. They can connect to another function on the diagram, exit to the edge of the diagram, or both, representing an output that is input to or triggers both internal and external functions. Mechanisms, allocation to components for functions, enter the node on the bottom. If the IDEF0 diagram has an ICOM which is not used either as is or through a child ICOM, it will appear on the boundary without any arrows. This provides a visual indication of a model breakdown between levels. ICOM can go from a node later in the diagram to a node earlier in the diagram. This is called a loopback. You can see a loopback shown on the diagram here. The ICOM representation on an IDEF0 diagram has two special aspects. The first is branching. Since we want to show ICOM without ambiguity, individual ICOM arrows can fork and join on the diagram. Where an arrow forks, that ICOM or its child is used in two different nodes. Where two arrows join, that ICOM or its child is coming from two different nodes. When there is a parent-child relation for an ICOM, the parent is written on the boundary side of the arrow and the child is written closer to the node. In this way, the IDEF0 diagram elegantly represents multiple levels of hierarchy in items and components bringing added clarity to the model. The second representation is tunneling. This is a technique used on the diagram to hide an ICOM in part of the model. The use of parentheses around either the connected end, the part towards the node, or unconnected end of an arrow depicts a tunnel. When around the connected end of an arrow, Tunneling indicates that the ICOM associated with that arrow will not be seen on the decomposition of that function. 
When tunneling is around the unconnected end of the arrow, it indicates that the ICOM will not be seen on the context or parent diagram. Genesis handles this automatically. To insert a tunnel, just remove the item on the child diagram. Genesis will automatically insert a tunnel on the connected end of the arrow on the parent diagram. On the IDEF 0A-0, it is common to see tunneling. The A-0 diagram has all of the same representations for inputs, control, outputs, mechanisms, and tunneling. However, since it is more condensed, it does not show branching. Tunneling is shown only on the node end, and there is only one node, the entity itself. There are two additional display options on the IDEF0 and IDEF0A-0 diagrams, box numbers and detail reference expression, or DRE for short. Box numbers simply show the node position on this diagram in the lower right-hand corner. The DRE is another way to show that a node has a decomposition by showing the number of the entity below the lower right corner of the node. To show the box numbers, check the option for Show Box Numbers in the Properties tab of the Toolbox. To show the DRE, check the option for Use DRE in the Properties tab of the Toolbox. If the DRE is enabled, the standard decomposition block in the upper left corner of the node will be removed. On both the IDEF0 and IDEF0A-0 diagrams, the display options Box Numbers and Detail Reference Expression DRE, are disabled by default. A good reference on IDEF0 and IDEF0A-0 diagrams is the National Institute of Standards and Technology Federal Information Processing Standards Publication 183, Specification for Integration Definition for Function Modeling. For more information and resources on Genesis, please visit our website or contact our support team. Mm -hmm.